when neurologists are faced with patients that have seizure clusters that are already on a seizure medication, but even on those are still having intermittent bouts of increased seizure activity or seizure clusters, I mean, the concern is always the, that, that those will progress to, you know, continual seizures. But beyond that, just a concern that these are worse than their typical seizures. They're different uh, and that we need to do something to interrupt these. And the key is, you know, can we do something safely at home that, that, that works, but it's also safe to do out of the hospital? In the past, patients always had to go to the hospital to get treatment. We've always known that we've, we needed a treatment for seizure clusters at home. And the key was just trying to develop a product that would do what we wanted to do, that was safe, but also interrupt the seizure cluster, and was one that the patient could do at home. So Nasolam, uh, represents an option that fills all of those criteria. It's the first FDA approved nasal spray, so it comes in a nasal device like this. The patient just puts it up to the nose, the caregiver, not the patient I should say, sprays it into their nose and uh, you know patients that did that, the majority had their seizure stopped within 10 minutes. Uh, they stayed stopped throughout the entire day. They didn't return and they were back to kind of functioning vast majority within an hour and a half. So it accomplished the goals we wanted to do. It's simple enough that a caregiver could do it at, at home. It doesn't require medical supervision. Uh, so it really fulfilled the criteria we were looking for uh, in a rescue agent for families to be able to use, uh, you know, outside the hospital setting. I mean, the things that we want to make sure of and that our colleagues want to know is, does it do what it's supposed to do? Did, did it work? And is it safe to do in the outpatient setting? Because safety is a big concern, too. We want to make sure that we're stopping the seizures, but we're doing it a safe way. Uh, so we do caution our colleagues that, yes, it's a safe medicine, but you cannot use it with other medicines that are central nervous system are present. So uh, if it's a patient's a drug abuser or if they're on opioids, we wouldn't use it with that, for example. Uh, it's safe to mix with their standard seizure medicines, but we want to be aware of that. Uh, and then when we look at the kind of how well it works side of the coin, we'd say, yeah, the key thing is that it's easy to use. It's a single dose activator. Just, you know, it's easy to put up the nose, just squirt. Uh, and the majority of patients had their seizure stop within 10 minutes with the first dose. If it didn't, there's two that comes in a package. After a period of time, we usually say 10 minutes to wait. They can give the second dose on the other side of the nose. So there's even kind of a backup, if you will, plan uh, if the first dose doesn't work, even though in most folks it did, uh, for what to do at home. So I think the, the most important thing to know about seizure clusters is prior to having this product, and if, you know, if we go back kind of you know, a, a week from now, uh, you know, the current state of the art was that most patients with seizure clusters were not given any treatment. And a lot of that was driven by the fact that we didn't have a treatment that was really socially acceptable or easy to use at home. So unfortunately for a lot of those patients, I mean, the neurologists were really not giving them a good strategy for clusters. So this is the first step in kind of changing that paradigm to say, you know what, we have some treatments that actually, as a neurologist, I feel comfortable recommending. And if you were the patient, as a patient, you'd say, hey, you know, that's something I would do. It sounds reasonable. You know, I'm, I'm glad to have this option uh, for me. So it actually kind of works for both sides of the street, if you will, because it's not only what, you know, as neurologists we would like to have, but it's, you know, what is the patient going to use to and what, would, you know, what do they want uh, in something to interrupt their cluster? And we have to think of both of those.